Hey, what's up? If you see the hat, you know that means that my hair is dirty. And I'm still sick. Tomorrow, we can celebrate one whole week of being sick. Isn't this just the best? At least I'm alive to be sick. Gratitude is the attitude. Man, okay. Lingzer wingy? Doesn't matter how you say it. Wish I knew how to say it. Don't know how to say it, but uh, do know how to say that a leap tends tends to destroy the guitar. So y'all been asking for this for a hot minute. I think on every video there's like 50 people who are like, this one, do this one. Okay, you win. Let's go. I mean, obviously, he's changing notes by turning the tuning pegs, right? I mean, and bending behind the nut and tapping on the guitar. Uh, I'm just watching because it's like... Awesome. Back up. Everything working? Good. My favorite part is that this this part right right yeah right here. So I'm not sure how this guitar is tuned. I, it's gonna tell me in the comments, right? Um, I just does it say? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to talk as if it's tuned in E. So, this first string, he's playing a B, so he's on this B note. Right? We'll pretend that's a B. I'm not sure if it's B or not. So he's going from B up to C and back to B. So these little half step bends. And then he goes down to the uh, B flat. It's called a B flat so we can stay in the same pitch class. <clears throat> So then he goes down to the B flat and bends it halfway in between the B flat and the B. Right? So what you end up with is almost three chromatic notes, but one that's a little... So if we had a... Let's do it this way. If I have um, my B and my B flat and then... So hold on, hold on, hold on. We had... The B was bent up to C, so let's start with C, B, B flat. So the B goes up to C, back to B, 
then it goes down to the B flat, but it goes halfway up. So what you end up with is this cool little spinny ornament around this note here, the B flat. No, the, around the B, sorry. Because the C is above it, and the B flat is below it, and it's kind of dancing up and down. So it's convoluted, it's hard to say. There's some things in music that are kind of hard to describe with words. I'm trying to find something I can give you out of this that, that makes sense. So that, when you tell them smack the uh, 12th fret, so oftentimes wherever there is a harmonic on a guitar, you actually can smack it. It's a little weird, but oftentimes it works. Uh, let's see if I can make it work here. So there's my 12th fret. So normally you would either do left hand, right, or you do your right hand, um, but you could just smack it, right? Instead of getting this sound, you get the, damn it. So it's just another way of making a uh, harmonic happen. Oh, and you get the side effect of when you hit it, you get the sound of your finger hitting the guitar. So it's kind of a percussive way of having a drum sound and a harmonic at the same time. Oh, and there, right there with his... Right. Right there. See that? We're at 214 on his video. So that is a 24th... I'm going to assume that's a 24th fret harmonic on his... Uh, was it a D string he used? Yeah. So, 24th fret harmonic is the same thing as your 5th fret harmonic. So, on our D string. Oh, he's definitely tuned his D to something else. But anyways, so here's my 5th fret harmonic on the D string, which I believe is a, uh, is it an A? Anyways. Same note is over here at the 24th. Here's the same note. I say 24th fret because if you had 24 frets on your guitar, that's where that harmonic would be. So let's see how I'm getting it like that. So all you have to do is instead of using this index finger on your fretting hand, you use the index finger on your picking hand, and then use your thumb to pick. And then of course he's got these other taps on there, which when you tap, really the basic idea when you tap is to come cleanly down, almost like a piston, on when you tap notes. And as long as you come down cleanly, you get a nice volume out of your uh, tap note. Okay, two favorite parts. Two favorite parts of those little three-note turnaround on a C, B, B flat. And then that little, what did you tune the D string and then the B string? Oh, that's almost the same, same trick uh, that he did with the bendy part. The bendy part, sorry, I don't have good words for this. The bendy part where he's at the seventh fret and moved down to the sixth fret. That's basically the same thing he's doing here, but he's using the open strings because he's in a different part of the neck. So he's bending behind the nut. Here, watch this. So he tunes the D up, it sounds, and then he goes behind the nut. He goes behind the, he hits the open string, goes behind the nut to bend the string up then moves his hand to the tuning peg so he can go down and then back to the starting pitch. So again, it's the same thing. He, he takes the open B string, flex it, goes behind the nut to bend it, which raises the pitch, then lets go of the bend, which put, puts the note back where it was. Then he goes to the tuning peg, 
loosens the tuning peg to go down in pitch, and then tightens the tuning peg back and goes right back where it is. So he gets, he does this type of motion up to where he was, below, and back to where he was. It's like a big sine wave. a uh, really trippy sound. Uh, I've I've heard some scales used like that. Um, mostly that uh, mixo flat two flat six scale. The um, the uh, especially that part. Um, but that structure of a song I've never heard before. That must be a whole other genre of music that I've just never been exposed to. That's like a rabbit hole to go down, right? Like, take all the cover songs that Elite plays from artists I've never heard of and go check out the original artists, and there's probably like a whole world of music. It's crazy how much different music is out there. You know what I mean? Like you live your whole life, and maybe you know, maybe you listen to a hundred thousand songs while you're alive, and like you don't even scratch the surface of how much music is out there. Um, it's. I thought that was super cool. I thought it was super, super cool. But you know what it's like? It's almost like when someone gives you a um, piece of food that is a whole. It's like a whole flavor you've never had before. So it takes your mouth a second. You're like, oh, I need to, ha I need to eat this a couple of times, you know, so my my mouth can get used to this this flavor, and then you start craving it. More leap. Oh, and if uh, if you made it to the end of the video, and there's other guitarists I'm supposed to be checking out, you know, let me know. I should have said that in the beginning of the video, but uh, oops, my bad. You know, you know the drill. Don't get sick, wash your hands, don't touch your face, don't hang around with sick people. Wear your mask if you have to, but if you're going to wear the mask, you might as well wear some goggles, and you still need to not touch your face once you get home. So that's what's up. Anyways, I'm outie.